over the years we've seen the changes. We recognize now that there's hardly a single cane cutter who is out in the field. We have some very, uh, I would call monstrous equipment that cut down a field in a couple of, not, not seconds, a couple of hours. So the change in face of the sugarcane harvest has really um, come to the fore. Uh, much more mechanization, less labor intensive. And therefore the whole question of the king and queen and the crop and persons who, how many, how many tons you cut and how much tons you load has really been um, a part of that, that, um, that modernization. And the NCF is very actively having discussions on how we address this particular issue. I can say to you that the whole idea of having a king and queen of the crop, therefore, has now to be relooked. And the thinking now is that we will now, rather than having a, having a king and queen of the crop, we will move now to, to having a system of honors of those persons who are participants in the sugarcane uh, harvest. The NCF has therefore been in discussion with the Barbados Workers Union, the Barbados Sugar Industries Limited, the Barbados Agriculture Management Corporation, and they are actively pursuing a plan to move in the direction of an honorary system so that every year we will look to honor at least two persons uh, from within the the, the, the sugarcane harvest. Um, so that is an announcement in terms of a change, so we'll see a movement away from the king and queen of the crop.